Hi guys, had a comment on one of my rubber band powered cars uh, by a chap called Sirius Rondi. Apologies if I pronounced your name wrong, but uh, that's what it looks like to me. Um, you commented that you could only use two rubber bands on your car project. Uh, what you didn't mention was what size rubber bands they are. Um, I've got a couple of example rubber bands here, obviously different sizes. Um, I've got much larger rubber bands available and smaller ones. So I'm going to guess and I'm going to go for these ones. Um, let's have a look. That one is about... About nine millimeter, uh, ninety millimeters long, nine centimeters long, give or take a little bit. So I'm going to use a couple of them. Um, it's going to have to be a fairly lightweight car because you're not going to get a lot of power out of that. And I've actually got an idea that I might even cut them in half so that I get a longer rubber band, but just a single thickness. I'm going to use some barbecue skewers, possibly going to use this store card because it's a handy bit of plastic, might make a couple of wheels out of that. Uh, this is a piece of flower cane, as I call them now, I used to call them garden canes. I think they're made of bamboo or something, this one slightly under quarter of an inch thick probably about five millimetres thick diameter. I'm going to use that as the back axle. It's not entirely straight so I'll have to choose the best bit I think. And these are a couple of bits of foam that I've cut off uh, one of those swimming aids. Uh, they call them woggles. Right, I very quickly knocked up a hot wire polystyrene foam cutter. Uh, I'll probably have to do a separate project just to show how I built that. But very simply I've got a battery charger there. Just connecting onto either side of a bit of wire. The bit of wire I've used is actually one of my uh, fishing leaders. Uh, it's actually plastic coated steel wire, so I've had to strip the plastic coating off it before I could actually use it. And I've used it to cut one of these uh, foam woggles, I think they're called. They're a fishing, uh, not fishing, a swimming aid that I bought for my grandchildren. And I just wanted a little bit off the end so that I can make some wheels. So I've just cut a couple of foam wheels that can be part of a rubber band powered car project. First thing I'm going to do is try and find the centre of these wheels because obviously the nearer to the centre I get it the better the wheels will run. If I'm too far off centre then they'll be wobbling all over everywhere. And the easiest way I can find for finding the centre of a circle is just draw a circle around it, then cut that out, fold it in half, and that will give us a line across the middle, and then turn it and do it again. You'll see. Right, cut it out. If I fold it in half, that should give us a line across the middle. And if we turn it, Again, 
And just for accuracy, we'll try it a third time. So hopefully, that should be the middle. pretty um, variable because this is very soft foam. Still a bit of hot glue on it and uh, we'll we should be lucky. Positive thinking. A couple of paper clips which I'll straighten out. Wrap them about around the axle. And if I back it off a little bit, that's a nice loose fit. tape or hot glue them onto the end. I've actually put little notches in the end of here to try and help line them up. don't know if it'll work. To give the frame a bit more rigidity I'm going to put a couple of cross pieces on like that. Right, now I need to put front wheels on. Right, marking up my card. Right, that's our front axle assembly ready. I've got an ordinary drinking straw as the actual tube to hold the axle. I shall trim this in a minute, obviously I don't want it as long as that. And then I shall glue it on top. Right, that's the back axle in place, front axle in place, point it in the right direction. Success, the full length of my kitchen. Kitchen is just about five meters. So there we go, that's a rubber band powered car with two rubber bands. I'll go and get it and I'll do a summary. Okay, summary time. The challenge was to try and make a rubber band powered car that used just two rubber bands. Uh, unfortunately there was no specification as to how long those rubber bands were. Um, but I've used two. What I've actually done is cut them so that I'm only using a single strand instead of a loop. And then my back wheels are made of a woggle, as it's called, one of those swimming aids. I've just cut a couple of um, wheels off it. I've actually covered the wheels with a bit of balloon just to give it a bit of extra grip. The back axle is a flower cane, as I now understand I should call them. I've been calling them garden canes. Basically they're made of bamboo. Uh, it's about uh, five millimeters diameter. The hook on the back axle is made from a paper clip bent round it and hot glued in place. The axle is held onto the chassis with another couple of paper clips just looped round and taped onto the back of the chassis. The chassis itself is made from barbecue canes 
That's two canes there, two canes crossing over to give us some rigidity and a couple of cross members. The front wheels have been cut out of a uh, store card, like a credit card. Uh, the axle at the front is another bit of barbecue cane sitting inside a drinking straw. And that's it, and we've got five metres out of it. Just hook that on there again, wind it up. See if we can do another launch. Oh, didn't quite go straight this time, hit the wall. But that's, well, that's just short of five metres this time because I hit the wall. But that's a success for me. I'm quite happy with that.